Hello everyone. In today's video guys, I'm going to teach you how you can set up this e-commerce multi-vendor project on your local machine after the downloading source. Now, if you are watching this video, that means you have already downloaded the source code. So uh, guys, you will get this uh, zip file. Okay, once you download the source code, you will get a, uh, this kind of zip file. And when you extract this zip file, inside this, you will get this two folder one for asset and second for uh, source code now let's open the asset what inside it let's say so inside this you will get two files how to set up on your local machine file and second file is uh, project docs links and uh, one folder you will get inside the all the images which i have used for the project okay you can see all the images like for mobile and uh, so for wedding watch and all this guys okay now let's open this file how to set up on your local machine okay so guys if i talk about the tool you need the intellij idea okay for the back end and for the front end you need the vs code okay so let's do this thing let's go to our source code and when you open the source code inside the source code you will get two folders backend spring boot and frontend react now you need to open this backend with the intellij idea so let's right click on this show more and open with the intellij idea and let's open this second folder with the vs code uh, let's trust this project let's go to here okay now let's go to our instructions file again and here you can see uh, see the instructions change db credential in application dot properties file so first guys you need to go let's close all this you need to go inside the application dot properties file okay here you can see our server port 5454 that means our backend will run on 5454 if you want you can change this server as well but i'm not gonna do that now uh, here guys you can see our database name okay so guys either you can uh, create this database in your uh, mysql and if you don't want to use this name you can change name of your database as well so currently what i will give here is uh, setup e-commerce okay i will use here setup e-commerce setup e-commerce okay and uh, then I need to create this database in my MySQL. So let's copy this. Let's open the MySQL command line. And by the way, guys, uh, make sure that MySQL is uh, installed in your local machine. Okay, if you if not, then install it. So guys, either you can use the command line for creating uh, this database or you can use WorkBranch as well. Okay, now let me log in with my password. Now here I need to create database this okay and you can see query okay one row affected now let's see the second step uh, actually inside this let me minimize it yeah our second step is after creating the database change username and password so yeah username is root and password let me give here my password okay give guys your uh, password whatever you have said password during installing the mysql uh, provide that password here and username as well for the mysql now then uh, create database okay database i have already created change reserve api key and secret key so guys here you need to provide your reserve api key and reserve secret key for this you need the Razor pay account okay if you don't have a Razor pay account for a payment gateway you can create one it is free okay and provide that key without this uh, Razor pay key your uh, payment will not work okay then uh, stripe api key those who are not from the india and outside of the india they can provide their stripe api key here okay for a working payment 
and uh, here guys you need to provide your email address and your app password now uh, why this email address because we are using OTP to sign up and login user okay login seller and login admin as well so that's why you need to provide your uh, email here okay? without providing your email it will not work now uh, last thing here you need to provide your Gemini API key so guys you know that we are using the chatbot in our application okay so yeah for making the chatbot working you need to provide your Gemini API key because we are using Gemini AI in that all right so this application dot property setup is ready now here you can see give your Gemini API key and uh, now run application okay before running application I want to add one more instructions for admin how you will initialize the admin so guys inside the SRC folder inside main folder Java and uh, inside the services you will get one service data initialize service okay this data initialization here guys you can see admin username okay here you need to provide your email address I have provided mine code with josh at the right gmail.com it will create automatically admin your in your database okay with this email so make sure that you provide your email address here to login as an admin okay uh, now for now guys let me give here my uh, dummy email address so let's give so get the red gmail.com and yeah password let it be now let's run our application Uh, guys first time it will take some time because it will uh, install some packages and dependencies so uh, let it be uh, take some time okay let's give it uh, some time okay okay give some time give some more time and uh, what is this error Abonate it is when custom delayed implemented must be provided. Uh, I guess there is some problem with our uh, DB credential, maybe. okay let me check yeah uh, guys here I have uh, provided my wrong password okay so guys make sure that your MySQL password is correct else uh, uh, it will throw this kind of exception or error okay uh, this time it will run perfectly and there you go all right guys all right and one more thing guys you don't need to create any table for your database you can see uh, when I run this application it has already created all the tables you can see create table seller clear uh, create table seller report transaction user user address user coupons verification all the tables guys it will create for us okay we don't need to create any table manually but make sure that uh, uh, you provide all correct uh, information in the application dot properties don't make such a mistake like me uh, I have provided the uh, wrong password okay before so uh, it is thrown an error so yeah uh, avoid uh, that kind of mistake guys okay now backend is running successfully how you can check that uh, backend is running so guys uh, you can run localhost 5454 okay in your browser and uh, why it is coming let me check
okay let me stop and rerun it once so that i can show the error our uh, po application will run on 5454 So yeah, it is fine. Five four five four, and there you go, guys. See, e-commerce multi-vendor system, okay. And uh, status is false. Don't worry about the status, guys. But see this e-commerce multi-vendor system. That means our project is running successfully. And you can make this uh, status correct, true, by going to home controller. Uh, there you go. This is the home controller and uh, API response dot set status. You can give it through here. Okay, and uh, yeah, it is updated. You can see here. And now, if you will go to in the front end, you will see the status true. Okay, let's make it right here. You can see now status is true and e-commerce multi vendor system. So that means, guys, your back end is running successfully. Now it's time to run your front end okay for the front end no need to do much more thing just uh, uh, do npm i okay first because we don't have node modules inside that so we know we need to install that node module for using npm guys make sure that you have installed node.js in your system okay after that you can use npm command now let's do the npm i Okay, and it will install all the packages guys here you can see node module folder is coming now okay it will take some time yeah now let's give it some time so that it can install all the packages without any issue and let's wait till that Okay, our, all the packages are installed now now guys you need to run command npm start or okay for uh, starting your react application and that's all guys your setup is ready now okay you can see in your browser localhost 3000 is running and uh, first time guys it will take some time to okay let's wait let's wait for a little bit let's wait let's wait Okay, no issue found. Now it is successfully rendered. And there you go. Guys, your front end is working perfectly fine. Now, guys, one more thing I want to tell you that inside application dot properties file if you will not provide your proper email address and password then login will not work also register will not work okay so make sure that you will provide your proper email address and your proper app password okay so yeah guys without uh, your app password you will not able to uh, login and register so yeah now let's go to our front end and uh, yeah by the way uh, now your backend is running successfully guys all these images guys and this deal images and uh, soap by category okay all this data coming from the backend so don't worry and this electric data as well okay so yeah that's it for the setup video